I'm here at Quantum the Exhibition, which was designed by the Institute for Quantum Computing and the University of Waterloo. Here, you're going to find out about the rules of quantum physics, which the smallest things in our universe obey, and how we might use this to build new technology and what it enables today in technology. The first section of the exhibit has everything to do with quantum mechanics, because before we talk about quantum technologies, we need to explain what quantum mechanics is and then how different it is from our everyday world. So quantum mechanics is the science that explains how atoms and molecules behave. And turns out uh, these little particles, like those Lego blocks of nature, behave very, very differently than the world we experience every day. Uh, one of the example is uh, we try we like to say that you know, quantum particles can actually be in two places at once or have multiple states at the same time, which is not something we experience in our everyday life, but in the world of atoms and molecules and electrons and protons, it actually makes sense. Like if you want to explain how they behave, you need to take into account that it can be in multiple places at once. So the first part of the exhibit is all about showing those quantum effects, showing how different it is, whether it's superposition, quantum entanglement, quantum tunneling, all of these. So you'll come out of this exhibition a bit of a quantum expert. The other big session of uh, the exhibit is all about quantum technology. So quantum mechanics is the science that explains how things behave in the very small world. And, but because those behavior are quite different, it allows us to build technologies of unprecedented power. And then this section of the exhibit talks about different sort of technology from the quantum computer, uh, quantum sensors that can be used a lot in material science or in, you know, also in medicine, geological exploration. And there's also another part where we talk about information security on how quantum can allow us to secure information in an absolutely unbreakable way. So first part of the exhibit is all about the science. The second part is all about what can we do with it today and what can we do with it for the future. Quantum mechanics is important for all technology that we have today, including computers, the lasers that you have in your DVD player, the GPS that you use to travel around, and the devices that scientists and doctors use to scan things and make sensors. But quantum physics is coming up to a technology revolution in which we can use new properties of the quantum world to make new technologies such as quantum computers, quantum sensors, and encrypt in new ways. I think that children today will be the ones that help create this new technology. The children that will be most successful were the ones with the most passion and curiosity for science. So it's important to start that as early as possible. That's why I created these books for children to help parents in this journey with their children to learn about quantum physics, quantum computing, quantum information, and quantum entanglement. Yeah, we're at the Science Center at the Quantum, the new quantum exhibit. Say quantum exhibit. Quantum exhibit. We have three books for one for our baby sister, one for my big sister, and one for me. Yeah, what's it about? Quantum. It's about quantum physics. It's about quantum physics. Yeah. yeah. And we want to learn about science. Zilla. Right? And we want to learn about science. And physics. I don't know. <laughs> And it's so nice to actually meet the authors. Yeah. 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 What science it is about? What's it about, though? Quantum. Quantum, Quantum physics. We often hear that quantum mechanics is either scary or weird. There's nothing scary or weird about it. The point with quantum mechanics is that it is different. That's what makes us uncomfortable because atoms and molecules behave in ways that are quite counterintuitive. But it's not weird, it's not hard, it's just we have to be ready to kind of change our mindset to understand how these behave. Uh, and an example of what we can do with those behaviors is build quantum computers. Quantum computers are a complete new breed of computer. So don't, don't even think about the computer you have today and it's, it's, it's not like it's a faster computer. It's a completely different machine that work with completely different rules. And because the rules are different, it allows us to perform 
some calculations that were completely impossible to do before. And then we have one part of the exhibit here that talks about quantum simulations, for example. One of the things quantum computers are really good at is to simulate how molecules behave, like protein molecule, for example. So if we could understand how proteins behave, it will open the door to understand how diseases happen, things like Hutchinson disease or Parkinson or Alzheimer. And if we can understand how these diseases are created by misbehaving protein, then we could design drugs that will fix the problem. So those type of simulation, we have no ability whatsoever to do that with today's computer because they're not powerful enough and they will never be powerful enough. But quantum computers now, because they work with a different type of technology and different type of behavior, turns out are really good at simulating proteins and other type of molecule, opening up a whole new way of scientific discoveries. This is a very good exhibit so that um, we can learn about quantum physics. And um, the two physicists that came today, they really helped me understand physics better. In Quantum Entanglement for Babies, we learn about the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, which is a special bond that quantum particles share, much like in the classical world, but with a little twist. In Quantum Information for Babies, we learn how the world of quantum mechanics has a different kind of information than the ones we use in the computers that we have today. And in quantum computing for babies, we learn about the ultimate machine, a quantum computer, that will be able to solve problems that our current digital computers can't solve today. This is a ball. That ball, it's just sitting on the ground. It's not doing anything. It has zero energy. Now, if we took a magnifying glass and we looked at a ball, then we would probably just see a ball really close. But if we got a very powerful microscope, we would find that all balls are made of atoms. And there are protons. They are in the middle, in the nucleus. And the ones that are outside, they have all the fun. They're the electrons. So I would have to say this is absolutely for good for the kids to learn some new, uh, new technologies and uh, new uh, things. I yeah, really, really uh, thanks about this action, this event. So the exhibit was really created for anyone of any age. So of course the subject matter being quantum mechanics and quantum technologies, it's a little tricky to explain what is going on for a three years old or four years old, but we design it in such a way that there's a lot of games and a lot of interactive that kids can come in, play with, and then see how things are a little bit different in, uh, in the quantum world. And then for people who are a bit you know, higher in age or have a, a bit more background in science, they will learn a lot as well. So it's every, you, can, you can bring anywhere from young kids all the way up to quantum experts and you'll find somewhere, you're gonna find something for you in there. I thought it was pretty informative and uh, easy for everyone to understand and the exhibit here is really cool and it's also good for kids. I picked up a book for mine and I think you'll enjoy it. We uh, visited uh, Toronto and we decided to go to the Ontario Science Museum and we think that it's very interesting. We saw the movie The Oceans and uh, I think that everybody should Oh, see it and I'm um, very happy to be here. We really like this place. I'd like to summarize that why I brought here my family. We are actually from Slovakia, which is in Europe, but we are Hungarians living on the border. And I wanted to say that because I lived here in Canada a couple of years ago and I knew this place, I was uh, sure that they would like it. Uh, because we have something similar in Budapest, Hungary, which is called the world of science. But this is something very different. The, pla the place is huge and you can choose your own, own um, possibilities. What, what are you interested in, your interest? So I'm sure that my son Adam likes this place actually with the computers. And my cousin Natish, uh, she has finished um, university. She's a doctor. She would like the place with the human body and that's it. And um, extra thing is that the movie theater, you know, the, the globe, I don't know how do you call this place, but we have 
uh, they haven't seen this before, I'm sure. So I'm very glad that we visited this place. And thank you for the opportunity to share my, my impression with you. We open at the Ontario Science Centre and we'll be here until January 6th. But if you want more detail, make sure to visit the OntarioScienceCentre.ca.